Ja. Cheers. You want one? I can't drink both. I shouldn't be drinking either, technically. I do know someone who wants this, though. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. For me? You shouldn't have. I'd like to thank the Academy and Hasbro for this amazing honor. Couldn't have done it without you. Nom, 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 Hello, nom, folks. My name is Brett, and sometimes I drink Nerf Pro Gel Fire Rounds. And for safety reasons, this is all a joke, and I'm going to put this down now. But it is a day of celebration pertaining to Nerf Gelfire. Not because of Gelfire itself, but because I can finally put a bow, wrap up the entire Nerf Pro Gelfire challenge. Why is that? Because I got paid. Nerf finally paid me for my winnings. To backtrack really quickly, if you have no idea what I'm talking about in the case of the Nerf Pro Gelfire Challenge, it was a challenge exclusively on TikTok, post for 30 days, with the Nerf Pro Gelfire Mythic, and uh, there were four winners. Each week there was a winner who would win $2,000, and the grand prize winner would win $30,000. Quite a significant amount of money on the line. Not too many people entered, so my chances were pretty high. I played by their rules, and I ended up winning one of those weeks. I am the Nerf Pro Gelfire Champion week, the Nerf, what was my title? Nerf Pro Gelfire Champ, week two, cha no wonder people won't call me by that name. I don't even remember it. While I did not end up winning the entire Nerf Gelfire Challenge, I also did not walk away empty handed. So I wasn't too upset by that outcome. That was on the 28th of October. That was the week that I won. $2,000, please. Well, okay, we had to wait for the entire challenge to end, which was on the 13th of November, and then we gave them like a week or so, and basically until the end of November was when we found out who actually won. Okay, yeah, well, it wasn't me, but okay. Time to pay up, Nerf. Time to, time to pay up, Nerf. So I filled out all the necessary forms, you know, not to get into all those details. They sent stuff, I sent it back. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready. This is going to be taxed. It's taxable. Woo! December rolls around, the end of the year rolls around. Oops, we're in 2023. Send a couple emails asking like, hey, you gonna be sending the money soon? Because on their rules, it said that there was a chance that they could substitute an equivalent value prize. And uh, I started wondering if maybe that was going to happen instead. Are they gonna be sending something physical? Like, should I be checking my mailbox for my Nerf Gelfire winnings? Are they gonna be sending an exclusive Gelfire Mythic? Are they gonna be sending the Mr. Beast one early? Ooh. Uh, no, they'll be sending the money. You don't need to check your mailbox. Oh, okay, okay. But then January started ending and I was like, okay, is there a fine print that's gonna tell me that after a certain amount of time, they don't have to pay me? Is Nerf gonna really fall back on this one? I'm not gonna put it past them, but, but let's just see, fingers crossed. Finally though, the end of February, the 21st of February, I got paid. And I did confirm that the winner also got their winnings, so I have every reason to believe that all four individuals who won, the three week winners and the overall winner, got all of their money. So as much as I'd like to complain about how long it took, Thank you, Hasbro. Thank you for actually following through and paying me. So now there are officially no loose ends. I got my money, the gel fire challenge is over, and now we spend. That was something that people asked. Brett, what are you gonna spend all of your money on? There were some ideas floated around. Um, the Walmart Thunder Tank, of course, made its return as a suggestion. Uh, there's a good reason why I can't do that right now. I did have an idea. And the real truth is I already spent the money. What did I spend it on? Maryland Mayhem, Friday, April 14th through Sunday, April 16th, hosted by the Maryland Foam Alliance and UMBC HBZ. I recorded this segment with my dog, but the audio got corrupted, so whoops. It's a triple header weekend with a competitive 5v5 tournament and vendor showcase on Friday, HBZ on the UMBC campus on Saturday, and casual games at the 11th hour blaster battle on Sunday. I am so excited to get to travel east again, just like I did for the Foam Pro Tour Qualifier 2 last April. 
and see some old friends, make some new ones, and overall have a good time. I am quite literally able to justify this trip because of my Gelfire winnings. I've already booked my plane ticket and hotel, which is like 70% of the prize money right there. Flights are definitely more expensive than they were this time last year. I also need to chip into a shared car rental, and ideally I'd like to eat that weekend as well. Oh, and I also helped sponsor the event. Look at all these people supporting the Maryland team, and among them is a man with hat. I will be competing in the tournament on Friday with a great team and some great loadouts that I'm not fully discussing yet, so stay tuned. To be clear, while some of the sponsors like myself are playing in the tournament, we have not and will not be given any additional insights or unfair advantages that are not available to the public. For Saturday's HVZ, I really want to be an OZ, but I also want to start with the Rev Reaper squad. Needless to say, I'm not planning any HVZ loadout, so we'll see how that goes. And then Sunday, I'll use whatever. If you're planning to be at Maryland Mayhem, come say hi. I will be traveling with a couple friends from the West Coast, and I'm planning to vlog some of my adventures similar to my Qualifier 2 vlog from last year. So whether or not you're able to attend, I will share my experiences afterwards, and we can truly evaluate if Maryland brings the mayhem. Hasbro, thank you so much for sponsoring our community events. We truly do appreciate you. Before I leave today, I did want to touch back on a blaster review I did recently that, well, it is on the topic of gel fire. The Legion. Now, this blaster is, I guess, fine. But the biggest takeaway since posting my review is that it feels like I got scammed. <laughs> At least for the price point. I paid $35 for this. And at the time I was like, that does not seem worth it. But then it was showing up for lower prices in other places. I mean, I bought mine off of Amazon because it wasn't in stores. And then when Nerf officially released this thing, it was for $20. Now people were saying it's not uncommon that you'll see high markups before official releases, but I had never really seen that before to this scale. So widely distributed and readily available. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's almost like you're paying half price for what it was showing up for previously. I know others also paid that price, so I was just kind of explaining to others that like, hey, that kind of sucks if you bought it early. And people were like, oh, Brett, just return it and get it for a lower cost. And I was like, that's not the point. I'm just trying to tell people that's what happened. At $20, much better. What's that? Oh, it's also showing up for like 15 right now? What the heck is going on? And I did put out a quick short talking about some of those changes in case you didn't see it. Like, again, for 20 bucks, I don't really hate this thing. It's still a gel fire blaster, and if you like that, then that's one thing. And if you don't, then obviously this wasn't going to be for you. It does suck that I can't fire rival as far. Some people are like, why are you complaining about that? Because it matters to me. And like, seriously, if this can actually fire other types of ammo, that means I could legally bring it to games where gel fire or gel blasters are not allowed. Life hack. And I don't know, I've got this title now of Nerf Gel Fire Challenge Week 2 Champion. Hey, I remembered it this time. But maybe I just don't know how to use this thing. I'm an expert with the Nerf Pro Gel Fire Mythic, but not with the Legion. And since its release, well, Nerf has given me some help. They have put out some videos, or they have contracted people to put out some videos talking about how to use the Gel Fire Legion. Let's check a couple of those out. I just got a Nerf Pro Gel Fire Legion. If I don't nail the next 10 targets, your boy's gonna do a belly flop into ice cold freezing water. It's Nerf for nothing, let's go. So we can use it for target practice, okay. This dude means business. Bruh. Hi, man. Bruh. No way, man! Nine for nine. Oh no! What do? Man of my word, ice cold. He's dead now. So, okay, quick recap. Target practice. The Nerf Pro Gelfire Legion is good for target practice. Okay, I think I, I could have thought of that one too. When firing at balloons, make sure you have a knife so you can pop them as well. You think we didn't see that? Everyone saw that. I saw that. Now that? you get to see it too. So, okay, thank you RJ Kaminsky for teaching me how to use the Nerf Pro Gel Fire Legion. He's actually got a second video. Let's, uh, let's check that one out too. I've got the new Nerf Pro Gel Fire Legion and 30 seconds to hit all the targets in my house if it's Nerf or nothing. More target practice. Is that all we can do with this thing? 
Oh, 130 rounds fit in this hopper. Not like I need them. I've been perfect on the day. Whoa, running one more time. You know, it's a shame that he didn't compete in the Nerf Pro Gel Fighter Challenge. I think he would have had a, a real good time just shooting at random targets, random stuff. Can't blur out the alcohol. Hey, Misha. It's Nerf or nothing. That man down there was doing nothing. Okay, well, once again, target practice. Shoot your unsuspecting friends. That one's new, I hadn't thought of that one. Okay, we've got one more person who's also gonna teach us how to use the Nerf Pro Gel Fire Legion, and it is a baseball player. Okay, show me what you got. Nerf Pro Gel Fire Legion. Let's get these things prepped. Time for target practice. Oh, more target practice. This time with less enthusiasm. <laughs> okay, who, who am I to judge? However, I've seen people more enthusiastically file their taxes than play with the Legion like that. But okay, there's another one. Here, put these on. Nerf Pro Gel Fire Legion. Take this too. We gotta shoot another video. What? No, just put the glasses on. What the fuck? Nine, eight. I'm out from the tree. I'm not coming out. Oh, this is riveting. Put the gel fire down. You put it down. You put it down. You put it down. Decent workout, honestly. <laughs> Strangely enough, the individuals that we just looked at are in a similar boat to myself in that we have been paid to make commercials for a Nerf gel fire blaster. Slightly different. I, I was the recipient of an award. Um, so I wasn't guaranteed, but I, I know that those individuals were paid to do that. How much obviously is unclear. Were they paid more than $2,000? Let's just assume yes. I can't that, <laughs> I've seen low energy before, but holy smokes. Hey, here, put these on. I know I can be a little bit monotone too, but wow. Wow, 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 that was an experience. And I just wanted to make sure you guys were able to see that too. So to recap, how do you play with the Nerf Pro Gel Fire Legion? Uh, target practice? Set it up around your house. Unsuspecting victims. Um, that last one, iPro, is a good idea. You can surprise your friends with iPro. So if I sneak up on you and I give you some iPro, you are legally required to play gel fire with me. So be careful because I could be lurking. And then preferably as well, have a big house, like a mansion. Um, that makes for better content because if nothing interesting is going on, at least you can look around the house and see some cool stuff. That's probably why I can't, you know, compete on this level and why I can't make good videos. So in case you were wondering what kind of people are playing with Nerf gel fire blasters, it's these individuals. High enthusiasm, high spirit. We like to see it Nerf. Master Chief as well, he's a pretty big gel fire proponent. Dead. Oh, well that's unfortunate. Anyways, I think we've finally reached a point where it doesn't make sense to look at any more gel fire blasters or gel ball blasters at all. I mean, what are they gonna do? put out another challenge on TikTok? Are they releasing more gel fire blasters? Oh, what the heck? Well, that adds up. Good grief, who's supposed to buy all those? No way, I don't wanna buy those things. I've already bought a Legion, I bought a Mythic. I don't need to buy any more gel blasters. Yes, I just got my money, but I just told you where I've been spending it, and I basically don't have any left. My gel ball fund is completely dry. I do not want... Where'd those come from? Oh, oh no. Oh. oh God, no. Actually, I've been curious about one of those. Okay, once more. Let's take a look at a few more and let's wrap this up. 